guys, Nick Bonner with treestuff.com. Today we're talking about the ISC D4 Descender. The D4 is the newest product in ISC's line and it's a self-breaking or cam actuated descender. You're going to notice uh, this unique push button design is going to allow the side plate to swing free and it's a lower swinging side plate as opposed to some similar products. The carabiner is captured permanently um, so that it, when it's attached to your saddle it's not going to be dropped when you're in an aerial environment. When we're installing the rope into the D4, the anchor strand or top strand is going to come through the back and the brake strand is going to come through the front. The gate will close with the carabiner installed and it's securely shut. When we go to install the D4 onto our climbing saddle, we're going to connect it to our rope bridge or other support point and we'll notice that the D4 tends slack really smoothly and it instantly grabs. The D4, uh, like the Petzl ID, does have an anti-panic feature in it. So, if you pull the handle back too far while the cam is weighted, it's going to stop. Because the D4 puts a bend in the rope, foot ascenders aren't going to be used. So a rad setup with or without a foot loop is going to make ascent easy and quick and allow a changeover to descent. So we'll install a hand ascender and then we'll take the brake strand of the rope and put it through the carabiner on the bottom of the hand ascender. Now you can very easily just hip thrust your way up with this system. And you're actually going to see less effort involved than you would on a traditional double rope system. Adding a foot loop is going to make things even easier. So we'll push the foot ascender up, stand, and tend that slack. Notice that as I ascend, there's no sit back. There's no slippage. So this is a very easy system. And then switching over to descent is as simple as removing the hand ascender and removing the carabiner from the rope. When you're working on a crane assisted tree removal, oftentimes you'll have one climber in the tree making the cuts and another climber using the crane ball to enter the tree set a sling and then descend. In this situation, the D4 is really going to shine. I'm suspended by two Buckingham steel rings and I'm in a double rope system. So this is very familiar to what you would see when attaching your rope to the load ball of a crane. The crane takes you up, you descend slowly and controlled, you walk out on the limb, set your sling, come back into plumb and then instantly descend. The benefits of this are going to be one, there's no wear and tear on hitch cords and there's no risk of melting or glazing any of your equipment. If you descend too fast, the ISC D4 panic feature is going to help prevent that and then instantly reprime for descent. Two, the fundamental principle of how the D4 works, it removes your hand from the friction. So you're not going to have your hand overheating, there's going to be no burning or anything like that. Just a few of the applications of the D4 today and some of the use and uh, instruction stuff on it. Overall, this is an incredibly robust device. Uh, the thickness of the side plates, the quality of the aluminum, and the all steel cam all contribute to that. The fact that this cam is removable by taking out these screws um, really extends the life cycle of the product. You're gonna see this lasting a very long time. The design of it brings rope travel away from the main body components, so you're gonna see reduced wear there. You also have a a metal sheave here so that if a user orients the rope incorrectly on descent, uh, that's going to last longer and be incredibly rope friendly. Uh, the handle is a very strong, rugged plastic and uh, like anything that ISC makes, it's, it's well overbuilt. So this is a, a very nice product and I think it adds well to the, to the range of currently available uh, descenders.